battery used to store energy. There is different kind of batteries, but in an electric car we need a huge, huge, big battery for our environment-friendly transport. The battery of the car is located here, under the place where you're sitting in the car. The car has a 24 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery that you can charge in two ways normal charging and rapid charge, which is fast. And you can charge the car depending on how much you have left in your car battery before charging up to 80% in maybe half an hour or a little bit less. And now when we're charging in the this one, you put it like this into the fast charging port and start the charger. The normal charging that I do most of the time is done at home in my garage. This outlet that I'm using for charging my car is special prepared uh, with a thicker cable. The metal inside the cable is actually thicker, allowing the fuse to be 16 amps uh, so I can get a full use of the onboard charger that uh, can charge up to 3600 watts uh, to make it completely safe without having any problems with uh, the electric installation. The Nissan Leafs comes with a standard cable uh, where you can plug in into the 220 outlet socket. Using 10 amps whatsoever, not more, not less, uh, and if you come to a place and want to charge your car that can't use a 10, 10 amp fuse, you will be in a problem. Therefore, I also bought this cable, uh, which is a little bit more advanced, where you can actually choose the <coughs> amp set setting depending on how much you would like to charge and how fast you would like to charge the car and what capacity your uh, electric installation has. Because if I start charging the car on a 10 amp socket with 16 amps, the fuse will break the electric fluid immediately. I also have this third cable that I can use at a public charging point that is having the standard MOOD3 Type 2. As you know from the rapid charger, it goes quickly when the battery is empty and slower when the battery is over 80% charge. The same goes for slow charging, especially when you are using the 16 amp settings on my cable. When the battery is almost empty, you can fill up half of the battery in just few hours. It goes very very quickly and then it slows down and the last 20% takes ages of charging. But that is not so big problem actually because most of the time the car is parked. So you can every day have your car filled up when you start your drive for the day. In my case I don't have very far to my work. Approximately 10 kilometers to my work and 10 kilometers back, so I hardly need to charge the car every day. Maybe I charge it twice per week or even less. On the next episode of My Nissan Electric, we will check out how far you could drive with a car now when you have charged it. If you ask Nissan, they say that this car can go 200 kilometers. 
Yeah, it maybe can. So the conclusion of this is that speed is draining your battery. Subscribe so you don't miss any episode.